Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. So, today, we are here. This is 126 Devon Road in Del Mar. This is Bethlehem School District. This is Ellesmere Elementary School. Uh, I just went on that whole thing and I'm getting all these houses confused and so now I've forgotten all of the things that I said. This is a four bedroom, one and a half bath home. It is just under 1,700 square feet. Uh, you can see the one car garage behind me. Uh, this is an A-level property. So it is an older home, it's about 60 years old, but it has been updated on the inside. There are still some character features um, of a 1960s style home that you'll see as we go through the walkthrough. Those have been left if they were in good condition, but the important things that people want to see updated, kitchen, bathroom, those have been updated. So we'll see all that when we go through the walkthrough. So if you or anyone you know are thinking about selling your home, now would be the time to give me a call. You can see the end of the video for my contact information, or you can go to my Facebook page and you can get my contact information there. So we will go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we are here today in Bethlehem School District. This is 126 Devon Road in Del Mar, uh, town of Bethlehem. This is Ellesmere Elementary School. Um, before we go inside, I just wanted to point this out. I haven't, I, haven't seen, <laughs> I haven't seen something like this in a long time. I am relatively certain. I could totally be wrong. But I really think that this is a fruit bush. Oh, maybe it's just a lilac bush. Uh, from the distance, I thought it was like a grape bush. No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just flowers. But the whole fencing thing underneath, with the door underneath, made it look like it was a grape bush. Maybe it's a grape bush. I'm not sure. I should ask about that. Uh, so yeah, this is a four bedroom, one and a half bath house. You can see right here the one car garage. Uh, this is just under 1,700 square feet. It has an unfinished. It has an unfinished basement uh, on the inside. It is an older style basement, so it could be finished, um, but but size would be an issue. And as uh, this is a two-story house, so two-story houses the basements tend to be smaller. So I guess that's just something I would think about. So we enter into the home here. We have dining room there on the left, continuing through to the kitchen area stairs um, going up to the second floor. I'm going to start to the right here. So here we have uh, the living room number one. Like I said before, living room, family room, I don't, I don't know the difference. So living room one, we're gonna call this. We've got an electric, uh, yeah, ele electric. Gas fireplace there. Got wood wainscoting in this room. Like I said, it is an older style, so it's gonna have some of those old, uh, older features. Continuing along, we come to the half bath here. And right across from the half bath, we have the door to the basement. Now I said it was an unfinished basement, and I don't go down into unfinished basements. So why am I going down into the unfinished basement? Because <laughs> uh, I just want you guys to see this. <laughs> yeah, check that out. This place comes with a dance stage. Yeah, so that's awesome. Look at all that. All the groupies have signed the wall. All the bands that have played here. It's probably Bon Jovi's name on that somewhere. I just thought that was cool. I wanted everyone else to see it. Uh, I'm not sure if the stage is included. I would say make an offer. Make an offer contingent upon the sale of the dance stage. It'll probably stay, but I mean, I can't make any promises. All right. Continuing past the basement, we enter into the kitchen area. 
So this kitchen has been completely redone. You can see the granite countertops. These are cherry cabinets. The stainless steel appliances. Got that, let's back up a little bit. We got the dishwasher there. Got the large sink. Cabinets overhead, tile backsplash, built-in microwave, and the gas oven. Across the way, we've got a pantry storage area there, a peninsula kind of island, breakfast bar space. So it's got the, the sitting area on the end. Both, uh, both peninsulas actually, both that one and that one, have sitting space. Watch out for that mirror. Uh, and then the dining area here. The overhead chandelier. Refrigerator is here, into that wall. Nice space saver there. And then down here we have living room number two. So this one has the actual TV hookup. So if that tells you if it's a living room or a family room, there you go. Doesn't tell me anything. I'm still going with living room number two. The door to the right right there, that is the entry into the garage. So most of this first floor was hardwood. You can see right there the entry area, they've got a small tile way uh, since it comes through the garage. This living room number two is carpeted. Here we have the door to the backyard, which we'll just take a peek out of. So we've got a paver patio here. With the yard space there. A little play set in the back. Got a storage shed over there. And then we've got some landscaping over here, which is just starting to come up. So, lots of foliage over there. All right, so now we will head to the upstairs. Head to the left first. So here we've got the first bedroom. Whole second floor is hardwood. These rooms are decent size. Considering the age of the house, you don't always get big bedrooms. But these rooms are rather large. This room we have what I would call the master bedroom. There is no master suite. Uh, there's just a shared bathroom on this floor. But this room is largest and it does have the dual closets. So this is what I would call the master bedroom. But as I said, there's no bedroom suite. Here is the shared bathroom right here. So we've got the vanity there with the toilet and then the shower tub combo there. Continuing along to the third bedroom. one is a little bit smaller than the rest but the other three are still a very uh, very good size and then the third bedroom here this room does have a little bit of a larger closet a little bit uh, this has more of a walk-in closet that door right there is to one of the other bedrooms. It's got the hinges on it, it just needs to be put back in place. So it's 
probably a child's room or something. Um, for whatever reason, they decided to take the door off. This room right here. It's that room. See the hinge marks there. So the door just needs to be put back in place. But that's what that door is for. Alright, so that concludes the walkthrough. Alright, so that's everything. So that was four bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, uh, just under 1,700 square feet for total square footage. So it is an older style home. You can see some of those older features in there. Um, but a lot of the main things have been, up, the things that needed to be updated uh, have been updated. Kitchen is practically brand new. It's not very old at all. Um, and it's definitely got top of the line features in there. Uh, the cabinets, the stainless steel appliances, the granite countertop. And it's a very nice layout. The way it's got everything kind of broken up there with the dining area. Um, and the peninsula in the middle. The refrigerator's kind of out of the way. It's not taking space. I think it's just kind of a nice layout. It's got the built-in pantry area in there also. Um, and even again, the new stuff is, is matching of the old style. So the lights that they put in on, under the peninsula. Uh, well, I guess it's really just the bulbs. It's got those, <laughs> the new LEDs that look really old. Um, they've got like the wire filaments inside, but they're still LED bulbs. So it's just a very classic renovation, uh, keeping with the style of the house. So uh, definitely an A-level property, really nothing that could be done to add any kind of equity uh, to the property. The only thing that I would say is uh, the wood floors probably could use some refinishing. Um, they're by no means damaged, but they are they are certainly worn. They could be uh, refinished. They do not need to be. They are not worn to the point where it's just like, oh God, these got to be refinished. No, they're, they're not that bad, uh, but they do show signs of wear. So it could be refinished. But as I said, I don't, I don't think it would actually do anything. It would really, um, it wouldn't make so much of a difference that I think it would improve the saleability or uh, the value of the home. So just something that could be done, but I'm still calling it A-level. It's not changing anything of that. So check the property information page for the most up-to-date in information on the property. Any kind of price changes, any special incentives. Um, <laughs> there won't be any open houses. Uh, for the near future, so you don't have to look for that. Um, but any of the other information, that'll all be found on the property information page. Uh, please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and anything else that I post on that platform. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will have all of the videos that I post across every platform, uh, plus a couple things that are exclusive just to YouTube. And as I said before, uh, I, I think that is a good place for people to see um, the virtual tours of properties that are out there on the market right now. I would, uh, I would dare say without trying to be arrogant or toot my own horn or anything like that, but I would dare say that I probably have more videos, more walkthrough tours of other properties available for sale than probably any other agent out there. I could be wrong because I don't know. I try and follow people who are using videos for advertising and stuff, but it is it is my opinion that um, that I probably have more walkthrough videos than anyone else. So if you're trying to go to one spot to see a lot of different houses that are available on the market, uh, I would say that my YouTube channel or my Facebook page is probably a very good place to get a lot of videos all in one spot. Uh, so yeah, so that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me and please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week or tomorrow's walkthrough of the week, who's to say. But that is all and bye-bye for now.